Oftentimes, when people talk about the best games released on the Sony PlayStation 2, Shadow of the Colossus seems to come up. What exactly is Shadow of the Colossus, you may ask? Great question. Let's hop into the DeLorean and head back to the early 2000s to find out. So back in 2002, a team of 35 people began development on a project named Nico, a sequel to the video game Eco. But development for Shadow of the Colossus was a whole lot more different than the development behind Eco. Developer Fumita Ueda and producer Kenji Kaido held their development team to a very high standard, and out of 500 artists that applied for a spot on the team, only two made the cut. Kaido was also very thorough and precise with the physics and dynamics involved in the game. If a colossus were to move or shake, it would affect the player. This was dubbed player dynamics and reactions and organic collision deformation. Ueda also wanted to create a unique realistic experience for players of the game. This was met in the form of adding the 16 colossi as the only enemy the player would face and by developing a connection between the player and an AI controlled partner in the form of the horse. By incorporating this new dynamic that was supported by elements of the game such as audio, gameplay and visuals, the team was able to achieve a narrative and atmosphere around a lonely hero that the player could almost seem to relate to as they were controlling him. In addition to that, the developers used lighting to emphasize the lonely world of the protagonist in the Forbidden Lands, with the only guiding source coming from the light generated by the sword of the hero. The horse Agro also played a key role in the game. While Agro served as transportation throughout the Forbidden Land, he also functioned as a companion to the player. The goal of the game was to immerse the player in a barren and empty land, but without some interaction with any characters the game would become boring. So Agro functioned as a sort of social dynamic to continue the immersion of the player with the game. Fast forward a few years later and Shadow of the Colossus releases after undergoing many changes since its first tech demo at the DICE Summit in 2003. Shadow of the Colossus follows a protagonist named Wander, whose goal is to try to resurrect a girl named Mono. During the game though, the player receives very little information concerning the backstory of the characters and their relationship with one another. So Wander brings Mono to a shrine where a mysterious disembodied entity called Dorman is said to have the power to revive the dead. But to bring the dead back, Wander must use a forbidden spell that can restore Dorman's power, but only after he has slain 16 colossi. The Colossi come in the form of enormous, armored creatures with different forms and live in different surroundings and environments. As previously mentioned, the Colossi contain a portion of Dorman's essence that was scattered long ago and can only be released once they are slain, a fact that Wander does not know. But Wander continues on to take down each Colossi in the hopes that Dorman will bring back Mono. Shadow of the Colossus received great critical acclaim, most notably for its audio and visual content. While the game wasn't perfect with frame rate, camera, and control issues, it did an incredible job engaging players. Destructoid named the game number one on the list of top 50 games of the decade. And in 2012, Complex Magazine named Shadow of the Colossus the second best PS2 game of all time behind God of War 2. Shadow of the Colossus is like the Mona Lisa of video games. It's beautiful and constructed with fine details by its developers. Shadow of the Colossus is a fine representation of art in video games, but to completely understand the uniqueness of the game and to appreciate its artistic qualities, one would actually have to play it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button right there for more content in the near future, and be sure to follow us on our social media pages to never miss an update. This has been a GameFAQs retrospective look at Shadow of the Colossus. Thank you for watching.